So I've been playing Rise of the Tomb Raider and let's just say my friends haven't seen me for a little while. Before you go gallivanting into the Siberian mountains after the divine source, I'd like to give you a few tips to help you on Lara's new adventure. And don't worry, I'm going to avoid plot spoilers, except that the divine source actually turns out to be a lovely bottle of ketchup. Oh. Get it? <laughs> okay, I'll just get on with it, sorry. In Tomb Raider, Lara learnt all about survival, and she carries that knowledge with her in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Use natural resources and wander around collecting berries for healing, minerals to help craft explosives, wood and feathers for arrows, and mushrooms to give some of the arrows she makes a bit of a poisonous kick. Hunting also still plays an important part, as Lara needs animal skins for crafting, but not all animals are as easy to take out as a deer or an ickle bunny rabbit. You can try to be nimble and take them out with your poison arrows, but I recommend shoving as many bullets in them as possible as quickly as possible. Or you could just go big and use an explosive arrow. Yes. Yes, it was necessary. Use everything you collect from dead animals and dead people to upgrade your weapons and craft new things at your campsite. I heavily recommend making the backpack as soon as possible if you're a hoarder like me. You can find new weapons parts in various strong boxes dotted around the area to piece together new guns and bows. And collect enough ancient gold coins and you can visit a remorseful trinity supplier to buy some nifty upgrades. You've got good taste. Speaking of collecting, don't overlook collectibles. There are helpfully boxed relics that Lara can study, as well as murals and various documents. These add to the story, making them extremely worthwhile pickups. Once Lara reads enough of these, she'll gradually become fluent enough in different languages to read various monoliths, revealing hidden goodies for Lara to find. Also, look out for treasure maps that reveal the location of other collectibles. Helpful. Plus, I heavily suggest you invest your first skill point in Avid Learner, as you get more XP for finding collectibles, helping you gain skill points much faster. But be aware that many collectibles are unreachable until you get the right equipment, such as the lockpick, so don't get too frustrated if you can't quite reach something. Just come back for it later. Lara can win over allies in the mountains by completing various side missions such as hunting animals or shooting down enemy drones. Complete these to be rewarded with new outfits and gear, my favourite being the battle-worn and huntress outfits that give Lara helpful bonuses, which are best grabbed as early as possible. There are also challenges in different areas that Lara can complete for rewards. Burn posters, cut down rabbits and shoot down enemy radios to earn rewards and achievements. Upgrade survival instincts with the eye for detail skill to make these easier to find. My big tip for combat? Stealth. You are heavily rewarded with XP for taking out areas without anyone setting their eyes on you. Use survival instincts and only take out the enemy's glowing gold. The red ones are in the eyeline of other enemies and you'll be immediately spotted if you try to take them out. Lure them away by throwing a can or bottle. And if you do get spotted, just get as many headshots as you can as they offer the most XP. Tombs play a much bigger part in Rise of the Tomb Raider and you'd be a fool to ignore them. Look out for the Prophet's symbol and listen out for wind chimes to help you find the hidden entrances. Looks like this was abandoned in a hurry. Each tomb requires different gear for Lara to complete and you can't even enter some until you've unlocked the right piece of equipment. However, if you take the time to travel back once you have it, you are richly rewarded. Solve the puzzle to reach the codex within, unlocking unique skills that are best grabbed as soon as possible. Also one of Lara's allies will give you gold in exchange for secrets found in the tomb. Well, I've got more coins for you. Oh, but I have missed out on one thing. Many of the tombs are protected by angry predators who are not happy about Lara invading their personal space. So you'll have to further invade their personal space with lots of bullets and arrows while going, ah, no, no, don't kill me, get off. I call that tactic the blind panic. So there are a few tips to help you survive the Siberian mountains. Are you excited about this new adventure? Any particular parts you're most looking forward to? Let me know in the comments down below. Please give us a like if you found this video useful and be sure to subscribe to Xbox On and check out all the other awesome Tomb Raider videos we've made. Bye!